Jay and I are starting a van building company. After years of preparation, we feel like we're finally ready to take on this new challenge. But even with our experience, it seems like we're in way over our heads and everything is falling apart. No days off. Oh my eyes. Stressful. <laughs> There are a few quick steps we took to starting this van building company. Step one was having years of prior experience. Jay used to have a job in construction and we've done eight full builds now, so we felt confident enough to take this on. Step two to starting a van building company, find a warehouse or somewhere to build. I got a warehouse! Do you guys see that? So still such a... So cool. And now it's time for the fun part, decorating it. <laughs> Pretty empty in here. It's time to start moving some stuff in to this office. We had 1,800 square feet of space to fill up, something that's a lot to get used to after living in tiny spaces for so, so long. nice. There's this thing called Auction Ninja. Got this for six bucks. I'm gonna leave it like that for now, but I have some fun plans for this desk. Since we're such a new business, it was important not to spend a ton of money, but also get certain things that helped utilize our time more. We got the shelves for our tools from a Walmart down the street that was going out of business. How oh, nice this looks. Looks like for the real deal, look at this. Walmart, you just never let us down. Except for those few times you didn't let us park at you. But other than that, you never let us down. Got this desk, six bucks, but it's ugly. Just realizing now that I have to carry this into the other room. Hmm. starting to finish this desk and I've spent way more time on it than I'm willing to admit and I'm not even sure if I like it but I'm just gonna force myself to like it I think because this was a big time investment. Jamie can build a whole van in the amount of time that I built this desk probably. Yeah. I actually really like that. I'll cry if I don't so you know. My office needed more lights and some shelves. To paint them, I reused spray paint we had left over from a few years back. Oh. Oh, there we go. Because when starting a new business, every dollar matters. With the warehouse and office ready to go, we were ready for step four. Exciting things happening today. Exciting things happening today. You wanna tell? We're you gonna go pick up something and it's very big. That's what she said. Jeez, look at that. Look at that, Mercedes? Are you kidding? We gotta take this trailer out, bring the van around this corner and try to squeeze it over here. Right here. It's a very tight corner. The building, that was the easy part. That was no problem. But the building with the underlying stress, knowing we were putting everything we had into this one van, that was tough. And it was slowly building up inside of us. We just didn't know it yet. Would you pass me a file?
So Jay and I just got back from gutted late last night. We're both feeling a little under the weather, but we still have this warehouse. We still have bills that we gotta pay, so didn't take the day off. Went in today to get some work done. Oh my eyes. <laughs> so Jay is going up on the roof to put in an AC, which is actually, this will be the first time we've ever done that. So the person that gets this van is going to have a much better life than we ever did on the road. AC is a big thing that people look for when they're looking to buy vans, so we figured, why not spend a little bit extra money to please the general public, I guess. So while Jay is up there on the roof, I'm going to be insulating. What are you doing next, Jay? You're gonna start strapping everything? Strap the side and then run wires. This is a piece of cake. Things were going well. From the outside, it looked like everything was almost perfect. It's layout time. Finalizing the layout. But the truth is we were both working ourselves too hard and we were bound to make a mistake. Jay worked through the night and his lack of sleep caught up with him. He wasn't paying attention and burned the back of his hand pretty badly. It could have been a lot worse, but it still ended up with him in the hospital. As Jay broke down physically, I was starting to break down too, but in a different way. <sighs> oh, stressful. Running your own business and just not knowing what's gonna happen. And if you're gonna be able to like make rent and Now I'm just having one of those one of those days again where I relate what I've accomplished to my self-worth. So like if our business isn't doing well, if YouTube's not doing well, I will relate that to my worth. And kind of in my head start to go through like, okay, well, I'm not doing well because I'm not good enough, I'm not smart enough, I'm not pretty enough, I'm not funny enough and like all these different things which I know like doesn't even make sense in my head. I'm just like, like well I, that doesn't even, make, like my brain is just telling me those things but I know it's not, it's not true. Running a business or running YouTube, it's like when you don't do well, you literally see like on your thing like one out of 10 or like 10 out of 10 is like in the negative and like it's just, it gets to me sometimes. So when I'm feeling this way, I know the best thing to do is tell myself the opposite of what I'm thinking. So if I'm like, oh, I'm not funny enough, right, I am funny enough. Um, so I'm gonna do that right now, and then afterwards go for a run just to kind of clear my head, just having a moment. It's just all part of the process. There's no shame in having low moments like this. They're imperative for growth. Being vulnerable like this gave me clarity I haven't had in a while. It gave me a chance to reflect on everything going on around me and realize how much I have to be grateful for. My mom is one of those things. I think she started to notice the sort of stress we put ourselves under and she wanted to help. She's also one of the only people we can legally hire for free, so we welcomed her with open arms. All jokes aside, I'm extremely grateful to have her in my life. All right, we're back at it. No days off at the warehouse, so. My mom is being a angel and is helping me clean all this thing while Jay is continuing work on the van with just one hand. Let's see how much he can get done with one hand. One and a half. Still moving. Way quicker than I would with two hands. So we're going with a nice vinyl flooring. We've done a lot of sampling and like this one is definitely it's the nicest, it feels nice, it doesn't feel fake, it has like a nice little texture to it. But the reason we're doing this is because the life proof planks that we use, they just kind of split apart over time and it's just like not as good of quality for lasting in a build, we think. So yeah, this is why we're going with this one. I like it. I don't like it when it looks fake, but this, this looks nice. Luckily for Jay, the back of his hand was what suffered the most, so he was able to get back to work almost right away. From that day on, the van build felt different. We realized we needed to remember why we started this company in the first place, because we have fun building vans. We could have easily cut corners to save on cost and time, maybe had a simple design or something we've done before, but we wanted to make something we were really and truly proud of. We wanted to build a van that someone else was excited to call home. I've been We both knew this wouldn't be easy, but how lucky were we to be able to do what we love every single day? Full filling time. He's 
man's been naughty. <laughs> Losing my mind. Don't look before you leave. What you give, you get to keep. So long, farewell, bye bye. Let's have a toast for those lost old eyes. And my crooked little heart that seems so rebellious. Alright, so we're now like a week, two weeks into the build maybe, and so far everything just looks kind of rough and just like meh. But now we're at the point where we get to start putting some finishing touches on the van and really bringing the design elements to it. This thing should be done in, let's say a week, maybe less. Van is starting to look pretty, pretty. Look at that tile going in. Look at that. Oh, I love that wall. It's gonna look so good. Things are happening. I wish I could tell you it was perfect from there on out, but even with all the reflecting, we still had moments of doubt. So one of like the really scary things about, I don't know, there's a lot of scary things about kind of like having your own business and just starting out and just having a lot of unknowns is like, we have so much relying on it to sell to kind of get to that next level. And like, I definitely have the faith that it will. I believe in our work and I believe in Jay and I so much, but it's just scary, especially like this first build. And my brain goes there sometimes, but I try not to think about that too much because if I do, I'll just drive myself crazy. So I just try to keep busy and, and just try to like keep the faith that everything will happen. Hope that we get to the other side. When we started our van building company, we knew it wouldn't be easy. We knew there'd be late nights. It's an early one tonight, it's only 10. Last night it was midnight, midnight 30. <laughs> Midnight 30. Officially, I'm losing my mind. We knew there'd be early mornings, and we knew there'd be doubt that would come with these new beginnings, no matter what steps we took to prepare for them. Moment of truth, if the electrical works, and if Jay knows what he's doing. Okay, let's see if it works. There we go. Boom, baby. Boom, boom, baby. Big moment is happening here. <laughs> but we didn't realize how much we'd find ourselves in the process. We didn't realize we'd discover that failure is not an ending, it's all part of the journey, and it's inevitable that you will find it in whatever new thing you wanna do in life. You can give up when you face it, or you can stare it directly in the eye and use it to motivate you forward. The choice is always yours. Maybe I lost along the way. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh wait, never mind. This chair goes down. I thought I was too tall for this. You're a little bit tilted. Let me fix you there. Oh my gosh. Just totally messed you up. 